Hey boys and girls, Mr. Jamini coming to you with a video on lesson 2.5, Greatest Common Factor. We did this a little bit different than you might be used to or what you saw last year, so I do want to kind of talk about it a little bit more, model it a little bit more in depth. So let's take a look at the first one here. It says, Volunteers Preparing Identical Backpacks for Refugees. There are 32 maps and 24 dictionaries to use for the backpacks. What is the greatest number of backpacks they can use? They can prepare using all of the maps and dictionaries. So kind of go back in. Let's see here. There are... Volunteers are preparing identical backpacks. For, their keyword here identical. So whatever's in one backpack is in another backpack. All the backpacks are going to have the same materials in every single one in the same amount. There are 32 maps and 24 dictionaries to use for the backpacks. What is the greatest number of backpacks that they can prepare using all of the maps and dictionaries? So... Greatest number here, that kind of clues me into using possibly the greatest common factor. And the numbers we're using here are 32 and 24. Now I'm going to write 32 down here, and I'm going to write 24 underneath it. And I'm going to think about the prime factorization of both. Now many of you like to do the factor tree, which is exact, that's fine. I'm going to do it a little differently. So I'm going to think of myself, what times what is, is 32? Well, I know 4 times 8 is 32, but neither of those numbers are prime. So I'm going to take 4 and break it up. 4 really becomes 2 times 2 because that equals 4. And then 8 really becomes 2 times 2 times 2 times, let's see, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So there we go. So I'm going to add those additional 3 2's at the end. Now when I multiply this all out, I should get 32. Let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So this is the prime factorization of 32. Now let's go with 24. I know it's 3 times 8. Now 3 is already prime, so I can transfer that over here. I like to kind of put them in order from least to greatest as far as the, the prime numbers. We just knew that 8 was 2 times 2 times 2, so I'll write that down here. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 now is the prime factorization of 24. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. Now, we need to find the greatest number of backpacks. Well, these two 2's match up. These two 2's match up. These two 2's match up. The greatest number of 2's that both have, that both have, are three 2's. Now, this does have five 2's, but this one does not. This has a 3, but this one does not. So I don't need those. So the greatest number of twos that they both have is three twos. So I'm going to go two times two times two. That is going to give me eight. So the greatest number of backpacks that I can make so that all the backpacks have the same number of things is eight backpacks. Okay. Now let's take a look at the next one as I write the word backpacks. And I'm going to erase the math I had just done below. All right. Now let's take a look at the next one. Alyssa is preparing identical fruit baskets. There are 36 oranges and 60 apples to use for the baskets. What is the greatest number of fruit baskets she can prepare using all of the oranges and apples? So let's go back through here. She, Alyssa is preparing identical fruit baskets, so each fruit basket will be the same. If one fruit basket has two apples, the other one will have two apples. If one has three oranges, the other will have three oranges. There are 36 oranges and 60 apples to use for the baskets. What is the greatest number of fruit baskets she can prepare using all, using all of the oranges and apples? Okay, let me go back in here. She has 36 oranges and 60 apples. So we need to find the greatest common factor, greatest common factor of 36 and 60. So I'm going to put 36 up top. I'm going to put 60 down at the bottom. Now, I know in my head that the quickest way to 36 for me is 6 times 6. Now, I want to use prime factorization here. 6 and 6 are not prime numbers, but I do know that 2 times 3 is 6, and also 2 times 3 here is 6. So I'm going to go 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. We can use that commutative property of multiplication where it doesn't matter the order that I'm using. So there's my prime factorization of 36 right there. Now let's go to 60. This one I find a little bit easier. I could do I could do the basic one. Let's go 6 times 10. 
Now, obviously the prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3. Those are both prime numbers. The prime factorization of 10 is 2 times 5. So if to write this out in prime factorization 60, we'd have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay? Now we got to see if we have any matches here. They both have at least one 2 in common. They both have at least two twos in common. They both have one set of threes. Now I'm going to stop there because this has a three, but the other does not. This has a five, there's not. So the greatest common factor of 36 and 60 is the product of two times two times three. Two times two is four. Four times three is 12. So their greatest common factor is 12. If I were to write this out, what is the greatest number of fruit baskets? She can make 12 identical fruit baskets. And because she's making 12, I could take that one step further. And I know if she's making 12, there'd be, let's see here, would I divide 12 by 36? That means there'd be three oranges in each. And divide 12, uh, 60 by 12, there'd be five apples in each. So that even helps me out a little thir uh, more thoroughly. Okay, hope this helps you out with uh, the assessment coming up and also anything else you need for this chapter. Take care. Bye-bye.